Hey guys, welcome back to the Overdrive Guitar Channel. First of all, if you like what I'm doing at all, please, please hit like and subscribe. Um, first things first, uh, I'm going to be doing a product review. No product was provided, nor am I sponsored or promised anything by any company. Okay, so today is going to be the first in what I hope to be a series called Is It Worth It? where I take a look at new, unusual, um, expensive gear that you might have the question, or a lot of people might have the question, is it worth it? So the product I'm going to review today is called String Joy Strings, and the reason I'm going to be asking is it worth it is they are just slightly more expensive than your top of the line Diodario or other companies offering. Um, so first things first, the guitar market is flooded with gear right now from strings to instruments to pickups, pedals. We've never had more choice and in my opinion we've never had higher quality product for the price which is a good thing but can be very confusing for people looking to buy gear especially beginners who might not really know exactly what they're looking for so we're going to be looking at this set of strings um, and like I said they're priced a little bit more than like Diodario um, you can go to their website I'll try to link it down below uh, I believe it's stringjoy.com you can look at the particular set that you might use and price it. Um, prices may change, etc., etc. I'll start by telling you a little bit of what I could find out about the company. Um, they're a small kind of boutique company, like I said, out of Nashville, Tennessee. They make all their products there um, and they use all American wire, American drawn wire all US products um, if that's important to you like it is to me um, and a very important thing that I want everybody to know about the company is that they donate five percent of their net profits to music education programs um, which is something that um, I feel very strongly about please donate to your local music education if you can so because they're this small company, that kind of leads me to um, the first point um, that I'd like to make where I believe this company stands out, and that's customer service. Um, from before I even bought anything, the questions I had to receiving the box, which had a handwritten note from the customer service representative um, about the questions I had before I bought the strings. Um, the messages that they put inside the box and helpful instructions. It's just very clear um, that they care a lot about the customer experience. Um, this is part of what you're paying for, but in my opinion, things like this are worth it. Um, they make a statement in some of their literature that if you are not 100% satisfied, if everything isn't exa exactly as it should be, contact them and they will make it right and I 100% believe that they will do this. You also get in the box a card with points on it for a rewards program. Now I, like I said, I'm not affiliated with Stringjoy in any way and I'm not familiar with their rewards program. I'm sure you can find out more about it at Stringjoy.com. Okay, so the set that I chose to use um, they're called the Broadway Classics. Um, they are a 9 to 40 gauge set. Um, now what I was looking for was some more balance and some bass roll off. And um, this is pretty much exactly what this set achieved. Uh, I was very happy with the sound results. Um, some people might be a little put off by the combination of gauges 9 to 40 is kind of an unusual thing to see nowadays but if you keep in mind some of the original sets like Fender Bullets um, like the strings Jimi Hendrix originally used they were 9 to 38 this is very much a set like that in Stringjoy's literature they recommend um, this set these gauges to get the brown sound 
in the um, kind of the Mark Knopfler Sultans of Swing sound. Um, I think what they're getting at is you can have a very sustained, gainy tone and still keep it tight. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for and it's exactly what I got. So one thing I noticed, not only because of the gauge, but because of the material, is the flexibility of the strings. And being that the strings are more flexible, it's made a huge difference in my bends. I can concentrate more on bending in tune and less on the actual exertion to get the bend. So when I put these strings on my guitar, the first thing I noticed right away was the feel under my fingers. Very smooth, very silky feeling. But this is the way any new set of strings should feel, in my opinion. So of course, I held off for a few weeks to make sure that they would hold up. The next thing I noticed was feel as far as flexibility. Um, like I said before, right away I noticed my bends. It was easier to bend, so I was bending more in tune. Now the last thing I noticed was the real surprise to me. Um, and in String Joy's literature, they claim that well-made strings um, will give you better intonation. Um, I'm not sure if this is what they meant, but my chords sound much more in tune, especially down near the nut. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why or how it works. All I can say is that's what happened. The next thing that I noticed was that my tuning was a little more solid. Um, now these strings are on my 2010 American Standard Strat. This is already a very stable instrument as far as tuning is concerned, but adding the string joy strings made a considerable difference, enough for me to notice. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is the sound. What's the difference in the sound? Um, so basically, the alloy, these are pure nickel wound. Um, so I find you get a little bit less sustain, um, more attack on the note. Um, that's just my experience. And the other thing that I noticed was it kind of brought my whole range into the mid-range, exactly where a guitar should be, um, helping me stand out in a mix or stand out, you know, in a band live situation. So answering the question, is it worth it, for me, String Joy is a resounding yes. From their customer service to quality, longevity of the strings, they have lasted me a very long time and show no signs of wear. Um, they've been on my number one guitar for over three weeks now, and I play hours daily. Um, I go through a lot of strings typically, um, and they show no signs of letting up. Now, like I said, I am not affiliated with String Joy. I'm not being promised anything to say that. I'm not sponsored in any way. The other points that make me very happy with these strings are the fact that they're made in the USA, supporting local workers, but also that they donate to music education. Um, causes. 5% of all net profits go to music education causes. This is huge in my book. So that's it today for Over Guitar Channel. Please like and subscribe. Please come back for more. Keep on rocking.